Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to day four of my 12 days of Vlogmas. I thought today I would pop in and talk about one of three essential oils for celebrating. So perfect for this beautiful holiday season that we are in or coming into. Before we um, get into it, I am Dee and I run a wellbeing studio here in Canberra. I have just started doing a heap more um, videos on YouTube and I'm really enjoying doing the 12 days of Vlogmas. It's been fun so far. Um, so yeah, I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, I would love you to subscribe. That would be beautiful. I'm really looking forward to over the coming kind of months building a beautiful little community here on YouTube. And aromatherapy is one of my most favorite things to talk about. So today I'm going to talk about sweet orange and I've got some notes here, so I'll probably be looking down a bit just so I don't forget to say anything. Um, I've actually just opened up a couple of my favorite aromatherapy books that I haven't looked at for ages. I'll show them to you because they are absolutely beautiful. The first one is called Aromatry and the second one is Aromatherapy and Chakras. I hope I'm showing that so you can see the covers. Um, they are both by Salvatore Battaglia and I just, ah, oh, I'd forgotten how much these books are just so beautiful <laughs> and yeah just have such rich beautiful um, information in them as well so yeah I thought I would share those with you I will also put a link to them in the description I will also put a link in the description to my celebrate essential oil blend which is made up of the three essential oils I'm going to talk about over this little journey of vlogmas <laughs> So let's talk about sweet orange today. So sweet orange is really fresh, citrusy. It has that real beautiful sweetness to it. The three words that I guess kind of sum up orange for me are joy, positivity and play. So sweet orange is a really uplifting essential oil but at the same time being balancing so it is energizing but in that real beautiful harmonizing sort of way um, it just helps to really give that beautiful soft energy and vitality and radiance to your mind and your body so it really enhances that positive energy enthusiasm inspiration and creativity so it really allows you to connect to that inner child that sort of playfulness that fun side of you it is really really fantastic for that it allows you to unwind and de-stress alleviating that mental and emotional fatigue releases anxiety frustration and depression and allows that real feeling of relaxation to wash over you so just inhaling the beautiful um, aroma and energy of orange just really yeah it's just like that oh that wash of relaxation it's really really beautiful um, it also helps if you're a perfectionist like if you really um, yeah aim for perfection all the time it just helps you to take a more easygoing approach to life and work and all the things that um, you are doing it just helps you to let go and relax and tune into that more gentle energy that I was just talking about. And when we do that, when we allow ourselves to kind of let go, we actually allow more space for that joy and ease and fun um, to come into our lives. Susan Fisher Rizzi, she's written a lot of books and a lot of stuff about aromatherapy. She really describes um, orange as being feminine and really strength strengthening to the heart and soul so really connecting those two together like really connecting your heart and your soul and your mind as well like that whole mind body spirit um, harmony it is also really really useful if you're feeling sadness or apathy or loss of hope um, which I think some of us 
I think that kind of comes to the fore sometimes in this sort of holiday slash Christmas season. So orange is really helpful in those circumstances and it just strengthens our soul and brings a light heartedness to our life. So if someone you know finds this time of year challenging, orange could be really, really helpful to use. Um, it really just helps create that joy, love, communication and pleasure in your days and in your life. It just brings self-assurance, courage and happiness. So really good for you for using to celebrate any occasion really. But um, yeah, this kind of, I guess, time of year is a time of celebration. It just creates that warm, happy and welcoming atmosphere. So really beautiful to burn in your diffuser if you're having a little celebration, a dinner party, um, you know, anything really, even if you just want to burn it just for yourself at home, just to kind of create that beautiful, warm, comforting atmosphere. So Sal Bataglia, in, in his work, he says orange symbolizes abundance, fruitfulness and nourishment, which I think is a beautiful way to describe sweet orange. It encourages adaptability and a positive attitude. So I guess if you are feeling that sadness or apathy, or you're just feeling like a bit down, you need to lift your energy. Um, orange really helps us to adapt our mindset and just how we feel in general to be able to bring that positivity into our lives. Gabriel Mojo, Moje, sorry, Gabriel Moje says in um, his work that um, sweet orange is ideal for the hardworking individual who strives who strives for perfection and achievement, but who has little tolerance for mishaps and mistakes. They become tense and irritable because they try too hard. And that comes back to what I was saying about being a perfectionist. So um, yeah, if you're feeling just like overworked, overtired, and you're just like, all you're doing is try, try, trying, um, and you are starting to get frustrated, um, orange really, really helps with that. And again, Susan fisher um says, I'm just going to read out this quote from one of her books. She says, the essential oil of orange is sweet, warm, sensuous, radiant and alive. The oil is wonderful to use when we are taking everything too seriously and forget how to laugh, when we feel tense, nervous and withdrawn. Orange oil conveys warmth, happiness and refreshing lightheartedness. It reduces people's fear of the unknown and helps them greet new adventures. I guess that's that adaptability that I was just talking about. Yeah, I love, I love those words about orange. And Valerie Werwood, she, she talks about like the personalities of essential oils and for sweet orange she says there are very few people who wouldn't fall under the spell of the cheerful optimistic orange personality these sunny people are a joy to be with they're open-hearted witty funny honest and embrace ideas and suggestions as easily as they embrace people I love that. So I guess if you want to bring a little bit more of that into your life, then maybe orange is an, is an essential oil for you. Yeah, so I guess, again, coming back to my three words, joy, positivity, and play. I think, yeah, sweet orange is just such a beautiful oil for all of those things. And just, yeah, just a great essential oil for celebration. And as I said, it is the main ingredient actually in my Celebrate Essential Oil Blend, which as I said, I will link in the description below for you. And I will come back in the coming days and talk about the other two ingredients in that beautiful essential oil blend. But before I go, I'll just give you a few essential oils that you can use in blends with orange. So you can use vanilla and cinnamon which are the other two ingredients in my Celebrate Essential Oil Blend. But also orange um, blends really beautifully with lavender, with lemon. It's lovely with geranium. Ylang Ylang and rose are also beautiful with orange. Marjoram is nice and also sandalwood. They're just some of the essential oils that I think really blend beautifully with orange. 
So I hope that you enjoyed finding out a little bit more about orange essential oil. If you have any questions or if you have your own thoughts, you know, on your experience with orange essential oil, I would love you to put them in the comments. Tell me whether you love it or you don't like it. Um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you've got any questions, please pop them below as well and I will come back and answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next Vlogmas video. Bye for now.